This is Jared with Omnivore Blade Works, and I want to show you the new Lotor sear knife. This is a pretty cool knife, and uh, I designed it for helicopter pilots and bushcrafters of all sorts. It has a a long, a wide cutting edge from the, for the first section of the blade. This is for better, you know, cutting performance. And if you're whittling or if you're carving, just doing anything, a fine edge is better. Um, and of course, we go back with our Edge Pro sharpening system and put a nice razor edge on it before we ship anything out. Anyway, this has got about a three inch or three and a half inch long fine cutting edge, and then another three quarters to an inch of point, which is stronger because it's. Uh, it's a more obtuse angle up at the tip, and there's a false edge for good penetration if you are needing to uh, poke holes in whatever. On the spine, there is a rasping feature, which I cut in by hand for now with a, a 60 degree file. Then you have a nice guard so that if you're stabbing something, you're not going to slide up on the cutting edge. And you can also use this as a, to catch other knives, or if you happen to be in a knife fight, which is pretty out of the ordinary. Then um, this is a textured G10 grip, which is just bolted on, and we can provide different grips. This is only an eighth inch thick. It's pretty comfortable in the hand because you're talking about a full quarter inch tang here. There's no lightning cuts in the inside of this tang. It's just three holes for the rivets or the Chicago screws. And this pommel right here is basically, a, it's a cold chisel, it's a striking device. So, though I tried to make it symmetrical in appearance from this angle, if you can see that, there's a center line here, and from the down downward side, it, it tapers off to a cold chisel, and then on the upside, it tapers off a little bit, so that it's flat, and you can have a striking surface for your for your uh, a mallet or a mag light or a stick if you need to beat your way out of a aircraft fuselage. The um, the sheath that I've made here is a modular sheath that is got holes in it for mounting mouse clips. Mouse clips are pretty handy; they're they're lightweight, they're inexpensive, and they're easy to, to use, so that's what I chose for most of my, my sheaths. Uh, arranged the holes here for both vertical carry on a pack or on a vest or on a drop leg holster or panel, I mean, drop leg molly panel, or for horizontal carry with either this the belt loop notches, which are two inches wide, so you can mount, mount it to any belt up to two inches, or um, horizontal carry using the longer mouse clips which would just go between these two holes and so they could be carried on a vest uh, or anywhere like on a pack horizontally. The uh, retention is quite good. This is the first sheath that I actually made. It snaps in and it snaps out. Um, if you felt like you needed more retention you could easily add a strap, a paracord to catch the, uh, the upper guard section or the lower uh, section of the, the knife. But I think that for both, for any type of carry, you know, it ain't coming out unless you tug. Ugh, it's not gonna, it's probably not gonna fall out unless you're hitting the ground really, really hard. Anyway, this is the Lotor Sear Knife. Lotor stands for, uh, it comes from the scientific name for the raccoon. Procyon Lotor. Anyway, this knife will be available on our website soon. We have a small batch being processed, hopefully before Christmas. This first one's going to go out for testing probably tomorrow, and we hope that you like it. Be safe.